So I've sectioned, I've sectioned off my two front sections and I'm going to split this section at the back to the occipital bone. Okay. So if you remember to, from your concave one length, your, your partings are going to be in a point. Okay, so we're going to keep with that part in. Show you that. Okay, so what we're doing basically, we've sectioned off from the occipital bone down, and you're just going to work on that section. Okay, so we're going to be putting in some short graduation, but it's not short graduation all over, just through the back, so it's going to end up a graduated bob. So your shape you're going to end up is it's going to be longer and heavier through the front and shorter and layered up into the back. Okay. So we're going to start off in the middle, so we're going to find our shortest point on our concave and we're going to take a little orange segment down the middle of the head. Okay, everyone see that? So we're going to pop our first guideline in, so like anything, this first cut is you're going to be your guideline throughout the whole of the haircut. So we go down the middle and obviously the angle at which you hold your fingers will be the angle um, of graduation that you put in. So if you want quite a steep graduation, you're going to come in with your fingers pointing up towards the ceiling. If you want quite a, um, a gentle graduation, you're going to drag your fingers a bit further down. So you're going to be pointing more at a 45 degree angle from the head. Yeah. Okay, so is that clear? So obviously for now, what you want to do is put a gentle one in. So you've got a bit more hair to play with and go back and have another haircut. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep our fingers in the middle of the head. So keep where you, you know, keep your line in where your parting is. Find your angle and you're going to put your first cut in. Okay, right down to the <coughs> baseline. So you can see your baseline that we had originally has become your guideline and you're taking that angle up. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. You didn't have to cut any of that either. No, so that was I was using that length as my guideline. Right. Okay, so the length of that was my guide in my fingers there. Yeah. Then I'm taking basically I'm From taking there. the corner off. Okay, I'm taking the corner off that one length. So you can see now when you let that down, you can see that's how you get your graduation. Now what we're gonna do today, because we don't want it to be even graduation, I want it to be longer at the front, we're gonna make the graduation slope down so it meets the length in the front okay so how we're going to do that is a bit like how we do our long graduation so when we bring everything to the top the hair at the bottom is stretched to the top with this the hair basically from the front is going to stretch to the back leaving the length in the front okay so if you imagine this now here is your line you have when you have your long graduation you're going to bring everything to that line that you've just cut in okay so you're going to start one side and keep your fingers in the same position where you started. So the biggest tip is if you keep the tips of your fingers level with your centre part in, you'll know you're in your middle. Okay? You're going to bring that to that section. You're going to find your guide. Those of you who are quite close to me will be able to see that guide. And I'm going to cut to that guide. So you can see you're literally taking that corner off. <coughs> and I'm not, I'm not moving around the head. I'm not going to use the head like we did in the uniform layer, the curve. I'm bringing the hair to the middle, so you'll see, as we take this next section, you can see that hair on the side is stretching over to the middle section. So what's going to happen to that hair? Someone tell me. It's going to be longer. It's going to be longer. Great, it's going to be longer on that side edge. Okay? So you'll see, when I take that down, so that's the whole of that back section now, and it, because it's quite a gentle graduation, it's not going to be hugely noticeable, but I want you to keep as much hair on your heads as you can so you can have another go at this, so you'll see. So can you see the shape starting to create? Mm -hmm. So obviously, bear in mind, I've only done half of that section. So <coughs> now I'm going to bring this half into the middle. So I'm going to take just half of that, bring it back to my point where I started. What's going to happen if you go to different points? It's going to get different lengths. Different lengths. Yeah, so you've got to remember with your concave, you had to make sure that your your V on your um, baseline was in the same place. Some of you did it slightly off centre, and what happened? One side's going to be longer than the yeah, other. Yeah, so one side's going to be longer. So you've got to bring that to that point and make sure you're at the same point every time. Okay, then you can see your guide. Make sure your fingertips are level with your parting. 
So obviously it's imperative you make sure you're in the first place that your parting is in the right place. <coughs> okay, so your sectioning is quite important in this um, in this haircut. So we're going to bring the rest of that, so we're stretching it over to the middle section. And you'll notice as, the, as you work through those, there'll be less coming off those outside sections because mm. you want to keep that longer. Okay, so when you bring it down, what you'll see now <coughs> is your baseline that we started off with, which was curved. You'll mi that is mirrored now in that shortest graduation. So as you come through that section, it goes slightly longer on the outsides. So basically what you're going to be doing is just checking along your parting, holding it out to make sure that you're even both sides. Now you can see if you're not in the centre, that's what will happen. You'll have one side will be longer. So your V or your centre point will be off centre. Which is fine if you're doing an asymmetric cut. If you're doing it symmetrical, which is what we're doing today, we want the, the aim is the front to be the same length. It needs to be in the middle. Okay, so we've put our graduation, our low graduation, in that bottom part of that section. Basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the rest of that, the second half of those two back sections, and we're going to do exactly the same again. Okay, so we're going to start back in the middle. And again, make sure you're level with your part in. It's a really good way to keep your even, make sure you're in the middle section. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to follow the line we just put in. We're going to find our guide. So everyone, I'll just turn my finger so you can see it. Yes, we too. So you're yeah. following that line. Mm -hmm. And you're just taking that yeah. bit to fill into the rest of that line. So what you're basically doing is you're creating that line now coming through there. Yeah, so that's the shape that you're... You're following that to the top, okay? And then you're going to do exactly the same again. So and split it. You can literally do it in two sections, providing you haven't got loads and loads of hair. If it was really thick hair, you might want to section it into less sections. Sorry, more sections, so you've got less hair to deal with. But providing you're keeping to that middle point, you can do that all in one go. Look. So when you think back to your one length, it was really important that you kept really small sections in this it's not quite so important okay so you're bringing it back so think about what you're doing to this hair you're stretching it back you're going to create more length on that side okay you're coming back to your middle point and you'll notice on the outside sections there'll be less hair to come off and what you'll notice now is you've just carried that on so you'll see your graduation is sloping, yeah, so it's going in that way, and it's also meeting your length in the front. Mm -hmm. All right, so really exactly nice. the same on the next section. I'm going to literally split it into two. You'll notice I'm keeping my fingers this way, but you can also, you can create your um, line using your fingers that way if it helps you. But you must <laughs> make sure that you're not over dragging. I think it's much easier to drag past your centre and lose your centre point if you're doing it that way. I personally find if you do it this way, you can check where your fingertips are in relation mm. to your parting and it's far easier to keep to that middle section. Mm. All right? But again, <laughs> that is up to you. If you want to have a go the other way, you have a go, but just keep your eye on where your section is. Okay, so you're finding our guide. There's our guide. Okay, and we're going to move that to the middle. So you can see, providing you're keeping to the middle, you're going to get a nice, even hair cut. <laughs> and again, you can keep those sections really narrow if you'd like to. If that's the way you work, that's fine. Keep those sections smaller, but you can actually get away with cutting more hair at a time this way, with this hair cut. So you'll see, once that's all round and blow dried, you're going to see that shape creating. So can you see this is the graduation we've, we've created there just by holding that angle out yeah and obviously by stretching it to the middle we've created the graduation longer on the outside so obviously if you want if someone wants to look where they want it to be quite short at the back but keeping the length in the front when we come to do the side sections you're going to drag that back to the back as well okay to keep that length if they want it really overextended in the front which some people do like it to sort of sit on the shoulder at the back 
really overextend it. You can do that line freehand, so you can, but you can see your line is there, so you're going to follow that. Now, what I'm going to find is the same as what I did last week. That on this head, I'm not going to have much hair to play with to create that slope there. So I'll show you what I mean by that. <coughs> okay, so to create your guideline at the front. Remember, we take the same section both sides. On that first section in the front, if you take one both sides, you can make sure that you're even before you work through the rest of the haircut. Okay, so obviously, if you don't do that, then the risk is that it's going to be longer one side. So we're coming to the side. So you can either move yourself to the side of the client or move your client to, to the side, if you like. Okay, so there's two ways of doing this, which I'll show you both ways. One way is to follow that line which as you can see I've got very little to take off that so I could well be doing that or if you wanted to really overextend it see, I would cut that like that so I'm just going to follow my line there's my guide so I'm literally going to nip that little bit off because that shape is there from last week I'm actually going to use that shape to finish my haircut but if it was longer and you wanted to extend more obviously the, the way to do it then is to bring that to the back so you can either do it freehand from the side or you can bring it right back and cut it back in. And as you see, if you do it like that, it's, there's nothing to cut off on this because I haven't got enough length at the front. Okay? So I won't do that. But that's the, that's the way you would get it to come really long at the front. So what we're going to do, as you can see, I've got very little to cut off. So I'm going to follow my guide. As you can see, I'm still going with that. I'm following that part in now all the way up. And I'm literally going to follow my guide from there and just snip. I'm not going to take much off that because I want there to be a contrast from the front to the back. So I'm going to keep that length in there. So I'm literally what I'm doing there is trimming. Obviously we do that same one on the same, the first section on both sides. So you can see there's my guide. I'm literally going to take that a little bit off. There's my guide. So I'm following my curve. And then before I move on, I'm going to check that both sides are the same. Once you're happy that they are, you can then cut the whole of one side and then move to the other side. But you must make sure your guideline at the front is there for you. Okay? <laughs> All right, so we can see my guide now underneath. And it is literally a tiny little bit coming off because I want to keep that length. So what you might find is you might have had, this might be a client who's already got a concave look, but they want some graduation in. So it could well be that you're literally putting some graduation through those back sections. And don't forget this hair was previously layered, so I'm going to run out of hair as I move towards the top. So you can see already there's nothing to come off there. I've got my, lo I've got my line. That's from my old layers look, you see. It's not as long. So you can see, so if, if, it, was, if it was long through there, you're going to work all the way to from, the, from the ear to the top in the same position and bringing it down and following your curve. Okay, Or, obviously, staying at the back and combing that all the way to that same section in the back. All right, so if you were doing that, that would all come to there. And obviously, it would leave you really long in the front. Is it better to bring it back? It depends if you want more length. If you want more length in the front, yes. If you don't, no, it's easier to do it freehand on the thing. And obviously on the same there, I'm going to, because there's not a lot to come, I'm going to split that off into three little big sec sections even. And I'm just going to quickly find my guide. There's my guide. So it is minimal, look. Tiny little bit coming off. And then comb that. That's probably going to go into my layer now. You'll see there's probably nothing to come off that side. So you can see, obviously, if that layer wasn't there, there would be, it would be heavier and longer in the front. So just to remind you, you can either put it down freehand or bring it right back following that where you started off. Okay, and then that would be your graduated bob. So you can see the shape. Can you see it's, it's a, just a similar shape to what you created last week with your concave, but you're going in... It's got more body at the back, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, you've got more body in the back, so you're going to have a layer into there, keeping some more heaviness through the front. Yeah. Right, so it makes sense, everyone? Yeah. yeah. So you're